Okay, we're in game. And it's about to start. All right, so with a 1 0 advantage, suddenly the chance of Romantic winning this obviously increased dramatically. I think they're still pretty low, though. The way I see it is he's going to look at this and go, all right, I have two chances at making a tow rush work. That's where I put him in this game. Is he going to maybe surprise us, though? That's the question. Seems like we're finally going to be able to start the game here in just a second. Well, it took some time. Uh, maybe it was due to Fly traveling or something, or because he went home late yesterday. I don't know. He was still in Shanghai to win GCS, of course. Where is this? In Beijing? Or where do they have the studio for WCA? Um, I don't think they're playing in the studio. I think they just play from home. That is actually true, Lulz. <laughs> do you know where Fly lives? Mm, I think Hangzhou. Well, he is uh, ready to go now, as it seems. Well, the Chinese stream is still not back. Okay, yeah. now the intro comes in, and we're good to go. Finally! Is, is the studio in Yinchuan, or is it somewhere else? Do you I know? think it's in Beijing. Okay. But I'm not too sure about it. Maybe we can ask Frank. He's, he likes to talk to us a lot. <laughs> so, our map is uh, Amazon... Uh, Ancient Isles now. So the first map was Amazonia, right? Uh, or was I think it Echo? So. No, I think it was Amazonia. Yeah. yeah, and then Echo should be the last one. Yeah, Amazonia is then the death win for Romantic. The game starts. You hear the chains. Are you connecting? Are you... There you are, bro. There you are. Nice to have you. Took me some time, but it's working. Uh, yesterday we were completely stressed out, but today I feel like completely relaxed. Everything's okay. Yeah. <laughs> this is not the grand final. This is WCA. It's kind of normal for things to be not work be working perfectly. All right. So the big underdog, Romantic, he's up one zero in this series because Fly, he's too late. More than ten minutes late for his match here. Was he arriving so late from the airport or something? We don't know. But as it stands, the human player has the 1-0 advantage. And the fl fly on the other side of the map has to win two in a row. But recent results should indicate that he should be more than able to do this. There's two championship titles under his belt in only a span of half a year. WCA 2015 champion, world champion basically. And also just yesterday he was able to claim the title for the GCS season two. So fly in the shape of his life probably. And yeah, that's one hell of an opponent to go up against when you are being the player romantic here. Indeed, but he is crazy. He is special and we don't really know how he plays against the orcs. Maybe he has a, a special treatment for the horde that we are not aware of. And that catches Fly off guard. You know why Fly may have been late? Nope. Maybe it was difficult getting the Frostborn sword through customs. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. You show up at the airport and they're like, what the hell is this? Are you crazy? You're bringing a sword on a plane? It's like, <laughs> but bro, that's, that's my trophy. Did you see the final? <laughs> I think in China more than 250,000 people watched it. That's a lot, man. That's, that's cool. That's a lot. But... Uh... Yeah, that's actually a good point, but maybe they just ship it to him or send it to him? Yeah, I think I think so. Would be weird to take that on an airplane, but would be <laughs> would be a funny story. Okay, we see the Archmage for Romantic in the bottom right here. We see of course the Blade Master for Fly in the upper left. And yeah, Fly is great against human. We all know that. He beat Infi yesterday in the loser bracket uh, semi-final. Was it 2-0? to zero? Yes, it was, right? Uh, yes, it was. Yep. So that shows you how good he is in defending tower pushes. I expect a very aggressive Blade Master again. And it's pretty difficult for the Blade Master to uh, find a lot of experience here. Of course, we know him for the one Boro tech, and he's going for it. Jesus Christ. 
This tech is so fast. Yep. Not even going for the Voodoo Lounge. The Blade Master pops out and he already techs. So, this is the greediest and fastest you can tech. But Fly is feeling confident, running towards the shop, getting the circuit going on the offensive right away. You're absolutely correct, this is going to be an aggressive Blade Master. Is he going to be able to get the first last hit on the Ogre? I think he's a little too slow. Just a few meters away, doesn't get it. But maybe a Peasant will be his prize. Archmage, not level 2 just yet. But he scouted the main base with the footman, seeing the incredibly fast tech. He would like to be able to punish this. There will be water elementals available for him, but he still has a little bit to go. Don't know if he can cancel these burrows. Yeah, I would have loved to see an immediate tier 1 tower push from Romantic, but he's the kind of player who goes uh, for the long run, who goes for the late game, and uh, plays things pretty damn slow. So, I like how, how Fly does this because it seems to be the perfect reaction to Romantic's play who is in tech already as well. Trying to do some damage with Water Elementals and the Archmage but not possible. Both burrows come through, the shop is not up yet but the Blade Master looks quite healthy so he doesn't need it at the moment. Archmage gonna be getting the boots now and already I feel like this is inefficient time usage by Romantic running across the map. I guess he keeps the blade busy. I guess he could ke uh, creep a little camp with his uh, with his militia, but I can't help but feel that he could have been doing more. He didn't deal any damage at all. Not even a bit of repair had to come out. Maybe he should have been creeping instead. Grunt now getting towards the Merc camp, buying a Berserker. Of course, he delayed his Grunt severely. He only has two out on the map, but he will have a third one and a Berserker. And of course, we know Fly loves his piercing damage against the potential of a Tower Rush. Indeed, against the casters, it's great. Uh, the damage value is great against the workers. And yeah, usually you depend on the damage of your Blade Master, but uh, with that Berserker in your army, you kind of split it a bit. So the number one priority to kill is not the Blade Master, but uh, the Berserker, because it's a little easier to get rid of him, especially with Footmen, if they are in the correct uh, place. But Fly usually does a great job in positioning his, his Berserker pretty well, so I don't see a threat to the world champ that way. But the one issue here for our champion is the Blade Master. Zero experience. All right, he gets the first bit here from the Water Elemental, 48 now to his name, but that's of course not much at all. Archmage, two and a half, now blocking with his grunts again. We saw this working amazingly well against 120 in one of those games, but this Archmage has boots, it's very hard to do. He does take a lot of damage, but he does get away in the end. Now the Berserker might actually be next to fall. Again, the boots of speed will make it possible for him to chase down the Berserker, but that exposes him to the Blade Master, and yeah, he's not gonna look for that kill. In the meantime, main base of the Orc, tier two coming up. Shadow Hunter as well, and the humans still only just in production are the uh, Arcane Sanctums and the Mountain King. As we said before, this tech so early, if you don't hit with a Beastmaster, there's no chance you can cancel anything there. That's very nice of Fly. Romantic played in GCS as well, qualified through the ladder uh, contest. He meets Shishi and Moon in his group, and another Night Elf. I'm not so sure. I think it was safe, um, but in the end, he failed to qualify for the playoffs against Chishi in the loser bracket final. All players' forces are under attack. So the upgrades are coming. Ensnare and Dispo will be there shortly. This is pretty interesting. Fly always going for the Ensnare before the Raider. I guess he doesn't want there to be a possibility for the Raider to be caught out with the Bolt. Because if you lose the first Raider before really being able to use the Ensnare, that is a big loss. So, interesting little variation here. Uh, nice to see. And the Archmage now hits level 3. Do we have a Lumber Mill? No, we don't. So, it's gonna be a straight up one base versus one base play. The first heroes are way, way better for the human side. Blade Master still only level 1 and a half. And before Spirit Link is out, he should be definitely the weaker force here on the yeah, map. That's for sure. Not enough damage to deal with the human army. Slow Player is coming, sorcerers are, are coming, and that's gonna be a threat for sure. He tries to creep up uh, his Shadow Hunter, but the Blade Master is still running around on the map, not finding any experience here. So, yeah, that is indeed a bit weird. Is he going for another Berserker maybe? Oh, he's just scouting around. And we see Militia support. 
Uh, is it gonna be a tower rush? Still no lumber mill, but with arcane towers, just for the maybe it, maybe it's just, just expecting a fight in the middle, because he was scouting with a water elemental. I think that's it. Yeah, he wants to look for a fight. He knows his heroes are better, but there is speed scroll. Uh, no, there is not speed scroll. There is spirit link, however, but will by the looks of it not be enough to save the berserker heal wave. Too late, rare mistake. Now he can surround the grunt. Five seconds done. Is it gonna be enough for him? Ah, he got it. Very well done. Slow oh coming God. out as well. And now, this is a good step into the right <laughs> direction. Is this gonna be our next upset? Can you imagine? Three upsets in a row. Of course, maybe the pro players are a little exhausted from their travels from uh, GCS in Shanghai. Ivory Towers popping up and the Arcane upgrade will be there shortly. And Snare on the hero. That is, of course, um, a nice solution to get out of this headlock, killing a hero fast, but the damage that the Blade Master takes is quite enough. Two more Storm Bolts, one more Water Elemental soon. The thing is though, there's no Lumber Mill. These will only be Arcane Towers and that's not really a big threat. And they're very far away from the base, going for the casters now. Speed Scroll and Snare backstab, but this Blade Master man takes some time. He has found the Claws of Attack, plus six luckily for him, but that's not much. Now surround on the Archmage, there is a TP on him. Will he have to get out of here? I think so. I think he has used the TP or does he? Ethereal, but he keeps the surround close. Very well done with the backstab and the Hex actually killed the Archmage. Oh man, romantic, big mistake, not anticipating the Hex here, and with his first hero dead, no more Brilliance Aura, this might result in a lot of dead human units. Yeah, but he's going for the Blade Master here, there is one more Wind Walk, and he's next to the shop, using the potion, trying to fight out, no, using the Wind Walk now, no more reveal, because the dust was on the Archmage, Fly has to retreat at least to a degree, the first tower, ah, okay, they were all cancelled, he has to uh, do the upgrade from the beginning again, another Grunt dead, it's a good amount of experience for the Mountain King. Who is ensnared to get backstabbed and he's trapped oh, so with the nice. ethereal form. Ah, but no, he has to um, let it go. He can't, he can't get out of there. He cannot get out of there. So good by Fly. He sees that one opening for a surround, gets it on the Archmage, now gets it on the Mountain King. And now he's playing with heroes against heroes, which is always nice. And to make things worse, SH almost level 3. So romantic. These two free kills seem to be catapulting him into a good position. But you also have to keep your heroes alive, man. And now even though there's only a single grunt and of course the two heroes... Fly might be feeling confident enough going in here. He would love to have some raiders for Ensnare to pick off those sorceresses one by one. And there is the one raider. Going for the Arcane Tower and yeah, your Romantic has a retreat, he can't keep yeah. this up anymore. Without the heroes, without the Water Elementals, without the Brilliant Sora, there's no chance of him winning this. Archmage almost back, but yeah, that's the downside of having a level 3 hero. It takes 110 seconds to get him back, not uh, having the resources to grab him back from the tavern because he was lacking lumber, no lumber mill, just a few workers because he pulled so many. That is indeed... Pretty damn bad for him. On the other side, we have a level two and a half Blade Master now with claws. We have a level three Shadow Hunter already. And now he's comfortably getting to the later stages of the mid game. This MK will be so under leveled. SH will probably be level four before the MK is level three. And the Blade Master finally gets up there in experience as well. Finding the heal wards. Oh, that's very nice for him. Will, after a fight, when he's uh, resetting, will not have to go for massive amounts of heal, scroll, uh, heal cells, but rather one of those heal ward charges. Keeps on creeping. I think this is level 3 for the blade. Not quite. Okay. Archmage is back, though, with a good amount of mana, thanks to the clarity and brilliance aura. He will get level 4, and that is a uh, better brilliance aura then. Invo potion and heal potion. He's so, okay. Uh, Fly found the solution with a hero focus. I will have solutions against that hero focus. Nice ward that will help him a bit with information. Setting the first one here right away. And he will scout that Fly is coming closer and closer. Alright, and his MK is gonna be out soon. Question is, does he want to contest this? Or does he want to creep the rest of the map in the top right? And actually, he wants to contest 
before the MK. Interesting choice. Blade Master hitting level 3 right here. Kodo Beast coming in as well. And here comes the Speed Scroll Engage. Immediately going for the Archmage again. Interestingly doing that because he's going to force a Tower Portal here. He will not be get, able to get some pickoffs even though he has the stronger army at the moment. By the looks of it, especially of course with the Mountain King missing. Kodo Beast running forward to eat. So far being blocked. Alright, but now the MK is back. But only with level 2. No Spirit Link here on these units. Only a single walker on the battlefield. Yeah, it's not too much dispel against the slow. Can Romantic make this work? His army is better. 10 food ahead, but the heroes for the Orc, they will have to carry. The oh my god. The heal ward is working so well, only now being killed. The Kodo Beast is still alive, so the damage boost is real, but Fly's army is basically non-existent. Shadowhunter is in problem. Speed scroll being used, but Stormbolt getting a better of it. He's surrounded. Oh, one more heal wave saves him for oh now, god. but he's blocked <sighs> again. It's not enough. It is not enough. Town Portal being born. He has to get out of there, but the Kodo Beast is gone. The damage boost is gone. The Blade Master has no mana anymore. Town Portal now another Grunt dead. And Romantic takes this one. This fight, pretty damn good. The Raider, he gets him for free as well. He was not in range for the Town Portal. And now level four and a half, level two and uh, two thirds. And the rest of the creep spot that will be level three for the Mountain King. And it's looking bad for Fly. All right, totally committing, over committing to the Archmage right there. He thought he could easily force the Town Portal, maybe didn't click on him to see the invul, wasted so much of his damage and lost the Walker very early that fight because of the attempted surround. Because of this, he had very, very little Spirit Link. I think he started that fight without Spirit Link and you really need that, especially when there are no breakers. This is so, so powerful. Of course, now there are breakers, but when the fight started, there were zero. So Fly making a big mistake here, maybe underestimating estimating his opponent, but he shouldn't because he's down 1-0 already. If he loses here on, M on Ancient Isles, it's gonna be the loss for him and the next upset, but the game isn't over yet. Level 4 SH. He is very, very powerful. Still 42 supply for the Orc, 60 for the human. I think this is a mistake though, creeping up more. He has a level 3 MK right now. He has way better supply. I think now is the time to strike on the other side of the map, but he gives Fly time to recover here. Yeah, always doing uh, what we are not expecting. That is romantic. Robo of the Maggie for the Shadow Hunter is amazing. Health Stone for the Mountain King, amazing as well. He's climbing up in levels. The Archmage <sighs> close to level five. And what are you puffing about? Oh, Pendant of Energy. Mana pool of 630. And when he buys a mana potion, this synergizes so incredibly well. You drop the items, you use the potion, and you effectively get like 250 mana back, maybe even more. So that is extremely powerful. Question is, is the mass healing going to be strong enough? Because usually with a Blade Master monster, the mass healing is incredible. But he's not even level 4 yet, and he only has two items. His inventory isn't looking too impressive at all. Yeah, no, and no he's going to be... And he's going to be facing off against a 12 supply disadvantage. So tough spot for Fly. No tower support though. He has a lot of breakers this time to have a block line for the casters. Stormbolt on the Blade Master immediately catching a lot of his first heal uh, wave being used. There is a heal scroll for Romantic so he can heal against this. And with Spirit Link the synergize as well. Blade Master stunned! Blade Master heal wave again! Level Big 4 on him finally, but can he stay in this fight? No doubt about that. Big mistake by Romantic, that was an easy surround on the Blade Master. Would have been his kill, but he was a little bit too lazy, a little bit too slow. I don't know, might be enough in the end though. Level 5 for the Archmage, level 3 Water Elementals. The Water Torrents are available, probably on cooldown at the moment. Blade Master, as you said, out of the fight. The healing, is it gonna be good enough? The Grunts and Raiders are taking a bit of damage. They are still on the battlefield though, but the thing is, there's no heal scrolls here. But of course, the heal wave will be there, we know that much. Mountain King also joining the battle again. The Blade Master in trouble once more. No Spirit Link. His speed scroll is too late, and the first hero for Fly dies. Neo, is this happening again? We, I should have put a bet on this, man. It's incredible. Kodo Beast about to die as well. Level up for the Mountain King. Level 4. GG by Fly. Romantic takes it 2 0. What the hell is going on today? <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Three upsets in a row. If Fanta wins against... It's Yumiko. <laughs> Here we go. I can't believe it, man. I can't believe it. Oh. And 
fly making too many mistakes that game. Make honestly not making that many mistakes. The early game was great, but making crucial mistakes. Uh, and romantic, not playing too bad. I mean, the early game for him was really bad, but then he recovered pretty well. The late game fights were okay. There were a lot of missed surround opportunities, man. More than I care to admit here. But he makes it work in the end, and yeah. <laughs> we have the first three winners of today, and they are very surprising indeed. And we have one more best of three to decide the last winner of today. Is it going to be Yumiko or Fanta Fiction? It's going to start in uh, probably... Well, we don't know, honestly. <laughs> 10 minutes, 20 minutes, something like that. Yeah, maybe you can ask uh, for Dream about this. That would be nice. So we have a little highlight reel here, um, but I don't know if I can use full screen because the player is somehow bad. See, I'm clicking on it, nothing is working. Uh, so I'm gonna zoom in a bit. Yeah, the first tower push failed. And I thought, okay, that is fly now. He is pretty stable, his heroes are looking good, but uh, that was not the key for him. The the second push of Romantic was really good, or the, the fight, rather. I think Fly was greatly underestimating his opponent here. Especially that he had stabilized, and then he runs into a fight head-on with Speed Scroll, with no Spirit Link, losing the Walker, and that's where it really spiraled out of control. <laughs> what are you g giggling about, mate? That... Just what happened here. <laughs> oh, it's so nuts. Yeah, man. The qualifiers are the big upsets so far this year. We saw it before. Qualifier number one, the two new rising stars in the Chinese scene. 120 and ZDR making it to the grand final. Now, in the second installment of the qualifier, one of the top dogs is out. 120, one of the new blood top dogs. So when you take a look at the uh, at the group stages, you would definitely say, all right, Infi, top favorite, Fly, top favorite, Yumiko, top favorite, Infi and Fly lost already. And so did ZDR, by the way. He was not a top favorite, but I guess he was in the final of, of the last, uh, of the first qualifier, so... Yeah. yeah, we expected it's everything great. a little different uh, from what happened here. But that's so nice. That's so nice about Warcraft that stuff like this can happen. And I'm just checking Liquipedia if everything is updated now. No, it's not. Why not? Uh, damn, that didn't really work. All right, got to do it again. China is going into a commercial break. We will do that as well, and we'll be back with Yumiko versus Fanta Fiction, Human versus Undead. We don't know the maps, but uh, we'll inform you as fast as possible about what's going on here. So, see you in a sec. <laughs> 